Hello and welcome along to the next episode of my Comfort Conversion YouTube channel. So today's video is part of a series converting a Mercedes Mobility minibus from a bus into pretty much a fully fledged house on wheels by the time it's going to be finished. And today's video I'm going to be changing over the rubber fill hose on the underslung 25 litre LPG tank over to a copper fill pipe and I'm also going to be changing the filler point on the other side for a flush mounted one as well just because the one that's currently uh, fitted it protrudes a little bit too far for my liking on the outside and I just fear it might get caught on a gate post something like that so it's always better to have either a flush mounted one or one that goes underneath the vehicle now because I don't have much of an actual uh, body as uh, everything in this bus is fiberglass there's no sh uh, actual van panels, metalwork, sills or anything like that so there's nothing to actually mount it underneath to so as I say I'm just going to be having a flush surface mounted kit now surprisingly none of the actual LPG underslung tanks come with copper fitting kits as standard they all come with the rubber hose even though it's generally accepted that rubber is generally the weakest point in a gas system you're generally not recommended to use rubber for an extended period of time or for over certain lengths of runs as well generally accepted that copper is always going to be best so that's why I'm going to be fitting all this in and to be honest I'm surprised more kits don't actually come with the copper fitting kit as standard now I will put links to the items that I'm using here in the description of the video in case you've got this similar sort of tank and you want to change it over for copper fill rather than the rubber should all be relatively straightforward relatively similar to fitting all the rubber stuff instead it's just going to be using a couple of compression fittings with some thread lock with the copper pipe instead so first things first, I'm going to get the old pipe undone from the outside of the van, take the old filler point off, disconnect the rubber hose from the inside of the tank, then I'll look to get the new filler point fitted in, get the copper pipe work ran, and that'll be all done. So we'll get some tools out, safety gear on, and get cracked on. And that's the external fill point that's currently on, but as you can see it does protrude from the side of the bodywork a lot more than any of the indicators or anything like that. And when the flush one's going to be fitted, it should be pretty much around about sticking out to that rather than this full bulk of the cap as well. So we'll get this off, get this removed and get the old rubber hose out. Right, so there's the physical fill point uh, changed over and as you can see it's made a hell of a difference especially when that's just clipped back in place barely any bulge at all it's almost in line with the actual indicator compared to the big chock that was sticking out before and that's been secured to a big two before chock of wood on the other side as well just because this is fiberglass glass rather than steel and with the pull force on some of the gas fillers they do need to take up to around about 50 kilos of pull force and with this being fiberglass, I just want to be a little bit more secure. So on the inside, as I say, that's uh, secured straight through a nice chunky two before with a hole drilled in the middle. So we'll go back inside. And now that's done and the old rub is off. Now it's just a case of doing a small copper run from the other side of this fill point down to the fill point on the actual tank itself. Now the rubber hose already has all the connections in place to get a copper compression fitting was a bit of a pain I'll try and put the links in the descriptions for this as well and this one just screws straight onto the tank that has an 8mm compression fitting on the end and that's what the copper connects to so I'll say just a little short run now from the uh, fill point across a little bit of excess so it will be able to be secured to the flooring when that's in place and then into the tank and then that'll be it done 
So I'll get some copper pipe cut out and we'll get it all connected in. Alright, so that's the copper pipe connected to the fill point. It's just been bent up a little bit so it'll then be able to be secured once the flooring is running from that beam across to this beam. And that'll just stop any vibration in the copper when the actual bus is movement. And then it's down into the new fitting on the inlet on the tank itself as well. So it was a bit of a pain to get it all in and all the copper shaped and bent uh, just to be able to be securing it when the flooring's in as well. But at least it's all in now, and as I say, now is the easiest, best time to get it all done while there is no flooring in, while I've got full access. So that's all the copper pipe work done on the inside. As I say, that's all the rubber swapped over. And now on the outside, it's a nice flush fitting filler point rather than the larger sill mounted one that was previously on there that protruded out that little bit more. So that's how I've changed over the filling point for an underslung LPG tank from the rubber hose two all 8mm copper pipe fixtures and fittings as I say there'll be links in the description of the video of everything that I've used here as well hope you found the video useful if you did give it a good old thumbs up if you're new to the channel consider subscribing loads of good content on the channel already plenty more to come as well so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already thumbs up the video and hopefully I'll see you on the next video of the series thanks for watching cheers